Hey there, boys and girls, Mr. Crepe here, talking to you today about how to play the guitar. So a lot of you have said, Mr. Crepe, I want to learn to play the guitar. How do I do that? Well, the first thing you need is a guitar. And the second thing you're going to need is somebody that can tune it. Because typically, when you get a guitar, or if you put new strings on, you're going to have an issue with the guitar not sounding correctly. So you need some kind of a tuner. Um, on my iPad, I use a, there's a thing called Guitar Tune. That's a really nice free app. It works great. Um, unfortunately, my iPad's being fixed right now, so I can't show you that. And then this is a typical tuner. This is actually a metronome and tuner, and you can see it's already sensing my voice. In this particular case, it has three lights. The middle light tells you you're right on. This light over here tells me I'm flat, which means below the pitch. And this light over here tells me I'm sharp. The biggest thing when you're tuning the guitar that you need to do and have your parents help you with this, students, but um, is you need to make sure you're tuning the correct string. So follow it with your eyes up here to where it wraps. That tuner, which in this case, top string is tuned by this one. The next string down is this one. And you always have to tune it with the right one, otherwise it won't work. And you'll most likely break your string. So this is my, whoop, this is my lowest string. And right now it's saying that that's right between flat and sharp. And on this tuner, that's about where I want that, right between those two. You really want that green light on, which I am getting. The next string is the A string. It's saying that's a little bit sharp, I believe. Let's try it again. So, but I do have my green light on, so I'm okay there. This one, a little bit flat. Getting my green light as well. G string, B string, and E string. Okay, here's the problem with, very good. So once you have your guitar tuned, you're ready to start learning to play. A lot of people use a pick. You don't have to, but the basic idea is you want to have a strap and have that instrument held. So you want it about here. Your neck of your instrument shouldn't be at 3 o'clock, nor should it be at 1 o'clock. If this is a clock, of course, 12 o'clock. Probably halfway between 2 and 3 and here. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to do is just strum. So we're going to take our thumb, and we're just going to push down. Basically, you want your hand to drop from your elbow. This stays loose and it just drops. If your guitar is in tune, it shouldn't sound too bad for you. But you do want it to sound like that. Okay, and now it's time to start working on our first chord. Our first chord today, boys and girls, is our D chord. So, let's take a look. This is our fretboard. And you can see we have first fret, second fret, third fret. We also have our top E string, our A string, our D string, our G string, our B string, and our E string. Our first chord we're learning today is the D chord. To play the D chord, we're going to come down here and we're going to notice that our first, our, well, first string is an E. We're going to let that alone. Second string is an A. We're going to let that alone. And we're going to start by strumming here on the third string down which is our D string. So because we're playing the D chord, we can let our D string just be D. We don't need to touch that one at all. But this one is our G string, and we're gonna change that by pressing here in the second fret, which is gonna move it from a G to an A, because D chord has the notes D, F sharp, A, and then this, this is a B. So we are gonna press with our ring finger right here in that on that string, one, two, three, four, five. And that's gonna change it to a D. And then this is still an E, which is gonna sound like this, which is a cool chord, but we wanna get rid of that E and move it to an F sharp. So we're gonna take our middle finger and put it on the bottom string. So our pointer finger goes on string one, two, three, four. Our middle finger goes on string six and our ring finger comes in here and presses on string five, which goes there. And this is how that sounds. Now when I strum it, I'm starting on string four. Now if it doesn't ring, that's because Mr. Crave's hand, or your hand in the, whichever case might be, is pushing on the wrong strings or not down correctly. And that is our D chord. So go ahead and strum it a lot. Take this hand, shake it out, refinger it. Remember, this one goes.
goes on the 4th, this one goes on the 6th, and that one goes on the 5th, and no spots. And that's our D chord. I want to show you more chords, but it might just be that you need to practice that one for a long time. Another common chord is the C chord. To play the C chord, I'm going to take my pointer finger and I'm going to come up one, two strings from the bottom, or string five from the top. Take my middle finger and I'm going to come up one, two, three, four, four strings. And I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to come up one, two, three, four, five, or put it in the second string. So I've got this one in the first fret, fifth string down. This one in the second fret, third string down. And the ring finger goes all the way up here on uh, string two, third fret. Here I go. Now I'm going to shift from that one. I'm going to keep practicing that so I can do it with what I shake my hand. So let me do it again. And now I'm going to shift to my D chord. Back to my C chord. Back to my D chord. Whoops. Make sure I get it right here. And now I've learned two chords. I can play C and D. Practice those two chords, and that's a good first step on the guitar.